Take everything you know about blazers, especially the K5, and throw it out the window. There's a new blazer in town and it's like nothing you've ever seen before. Because the trend of electrifying both known and old nameplates marches on. You saw it first with the GMC Hummer EV and Chevy's been doing it too. This is the 2024 Chevy Blazer EV. And looking at it now, I have to ask, did Chevy just hoodwink us into getting stoked on a tall electric wagon? I'm serious, just look at it. Look at its proportions. Technically, the Blazer EV is a midsize SUV, but its ground clearance and overall shape kind of indicate otherwise, right? Look at how low slung and wide it is, how its headlights fan out horizontally like that. It has that long roof silhouette. It's just taller than your traditional wagon, which translates to more cabin space. Overall though, it looks real sharp and perfect for this modern age. Inside, there's a huge amount of room for passengers and stuff. And also because the ceiling is high, it lends to a sense of airiness that you can actually see out of this cabin. And because it's 2023, you cannot escape the onslaught of screens, but these are big, bright, and easy to read. From back here, things are extremely spacious with great headroom. I mean, I'm not tall, but earlier today, I saw someone who's 6'3 sit back here and they had great headroom. Also, because the floor is flat, this middle passenger isn't cheated out of legroom. How about that? Okay, time to check out this trunk. Moment of truth, moment of truth. And it's good, it's decent. It's, it's actually deep, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. And if you run out of room, there's this floor down here where you can put even more things. Isn't that fantastic? So now that we're driving the Blazer EV, there is one thing that I want you to know about it that I find very cool. And it is, you can get this thing in either front wheel drive, all wheel drive, or rear wheel drive. You understand that like no other cars do that, right? So basically what it means is you can drive into a Chevy dealership and pending availability, of course, ask for either a front wheel drive version, two rear wheel drive versions, one all wheel drive version with either the standard or performance trim and three different battery sizes. That is so many possibilities. So this particular Blazer is the RS all wheel drive trim. It makes 288 horsepower, 333 pound feet of torque and fully charged produces an EPA estimated 279 miles of range. Here's what I like about it, and it's a lot. First of all, buttons. Yes, mama likes buttons. Yes, there's a big touch screen, but there are buttons that you can control the volume with because there's a volume knob and you can control the climate. That's wonderful. And even the air vents have physical toggles. It's not until somebody tries to take that away from you that you realize how valuable they are. Beyond that though, driving this thing, it negotiates the turns really nicely. You know, you, you feel like you can kind of push it a little bit. It's more confidence inspiring. The weight is all concentrated in the bottom, in the floor. So the center of gravity is very low. Acceleration is unsurprisingly good because it's an EV. It is not the blowing your hair back kind. It's only 333 pound feet of torque, but hey, that's enough for merging, passing, all the things that you needed to do. The brakes are really good too. You can turn on regenerative braking if you're into that kind of thing with just the push of a button. And if you don't like it, you can turn it right off, but it is very smooth. The chassis rides really nice. It handles the bumps very well. In fact, I think the only thing that I don't love is the steering feedback. I've tried the steering in sport and normal modes, and it never really tightens up to the point where I feel great about it. That being said, this is the RS trim. It's not the top of the line SS trim. Maybe the SS, I haven't driven it yet, but maybe they tighten up the steering a bit, give it a sports suspension, give it extra power. If that's the case, you got yourself a pretty sweet sports car there. With more and more EVs entering the market, especially mid-sized SUV EVs, automakers have to fight each other to keep their product on top. So you could go the route of a startup like the Fisker Ocean, or you could go with a legacy automaker touting a legacy nameplate. But this Blazer EV is a Blazer in name only. In practice, it is sleek, modern, quick, everything the K5 truck wasn't. And it's also really cool that you can customize it down to three different drivetrains. That really shows the flexibility of these EV platforms like the GM Ultium over the ICE platforms. And in a way, driving the Blazer EV was like driving around in a big, tall electric station wagon. And if this is the putting cheddar on top of broccoli way that Chevy is getting Americans to fall back in love with station wagons, well, 
I am here for it. 